Hold on, hold on, hold on, Donnie. Fall on angry end. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> you got it? That bracket and this bracket are not 100% symmetrical. It doesn't feel right. All right, so this bracket is actually broken. It's been welded a couple times to fix it. We're gonna service these engines and we're gonna take them off of this bracket and then pull this bracket so that we can replace this bracket with a totally new bracket. That means that this whole piece right here, this like cover thing, that's gotta come off of here. The engine's gotta come off of here and then we'll be able to remove and replace. We're not gonna measure anything pretty much because we have the exact same bracket going on. Now we've got to get all this stuff off. Okay, the service is done, and now we want to start taking the engines off. First thing that we want to do is take these steering cylinders off, and we'll be able to fold those up over the transom, as well as getting this bracket off. We'll derig the engines, rigging will go over the transom, and then we can take these bolts off, as well as all the stuff down here, mounting this plate to the bracket. Once this plate's off, then we'll be able to access the bracket to get that off, get these engines ready to take those off. Don't worry about it. Hey. Got it? Yeah. We got the steering all unhooked, engines fully derigged, those are flipped up. This is disconnected, that's disconnected. We've actually also purged the fluid out of these. We do need to put some caps on there so that way they don't get any water in the steering cylinders. But other than that, we're ready to pull these caps off right here and then take the bolts out from the engines so that way these are ready to come off. And then we will go ahead and clean all this off and take this platform off. It's closer than 14. We are ready to pull this thing up. We've actually got it pretty much lifting up to where we'll be able to, he'll be able to lift up on this side, I'll lift up on the other side. Uh, let's come out, let's come out your way. All right, we got, he started cutting these out and we've got all the bolts out of here. Obviously we got the 5200 or 42, whatever it is, holding this whole thing on here. It ain't coming off. So we're going to cut the line, see if we can get it to pop. If we can't, we do have some D-bond here. We'll tape all along the top of it because you don't want to get this stuff on pretty much anything. This is some harsh stuff. So you can't get this on the paint, gel coat, any of that stuff. We're going to tape around the bracket and spray this if we can't get it to pop without it. Here, pull it again. <laughs> oh, they're starting to go. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> got it? Yeah, we got it. All right. You sure? Okay, yeah. And there is the bracket. Lot and lots and lots of 5200 on here. That, that is freaking <laughs> cement, bro. <laughs> That's just stuck on there river they say permanent it's permanent even brought you know always brings the glass off with it there's no i mean we doused it in that deep on stuff so now what we got to do is tomorrow when we come got to clean all this off get all this cleaned up prepped get the new bracket out put the bracket up there make sure that it fits right and it's an exact replica so that we can get rid of this one and put the new one up there bolt it up get our engines back on the bracket finish this whole project. Got a lot of this cleaned off. This is all pretty good so far. This way I've been working my way across using a regular razor to 
get what I can off, then come back with a plastic razor to try and clean off anything else that I can get. That way when we put this thing up, it'll look nice on the top. Donnie's just measuring her up to make sure that the brackets are pretty much identical. Are they off any? An eighth of an inch? Okay. No, like a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth? Okay, width, good. Yeah. So they're pretty much identical. But what we need to do is measure for these first starting holes. We've already got the template made. Template's ready, all our holes are right. Everything's ready, but we want to make sure that we get our template centered on here first. So we're going to measure the holes from our corners. So he's going to measure from here to the center and from here to the center. So we know that hole and that corner hole. And we're going to put our two corner holes in here first. So that way we can put our bolts onto the template down here to make sure that our template is square before we send the rest of the bolt holes. All right, so this template, the way it's sitting here on this with the bolts, it does not, it just doesn't, something doesn't look right when we stick it here. So what we're gonna do is just, since we've got these two measured and drilled, we're gonna take the whole bracket, pick it up, mount it with those two holes, and then drill from the inside out to put the holes back in it. We've got everything prepped and ready. That's all drilled out, bolts ready. Bolts lined up. I got the nuts and the washers on the inside ready to go. We've got this all taped out. We've got our bare glass sealed up with some epoxy 4200 ready to go. So what I'm going to do is take a bead of 4200 all the way around the outside, all the way around the inside, and around each one of the holes on both the transom and the bracket. And then we will pick this thing up, put it on there, bolt it up, and then we'll be ready to remount our engines. Donnie's... Where's my three quarter inch wrench? I don't know, what'd you do with it? What did I do with it? It's always me. It's, it's always you. Reach. And you stole it. Extreme ownership, you man. Always it. trying to blame someone else for your problems. All right, bracket is mounted and looking good. Donnie's over here just cleaning up this edge so we can probably lay another bead on here just to make it look nice and pretty. Same thing all the way around. I guess what we're gonna do is go ahead and put all of our spots down here with some sealant and go ahead and mount up our platform. Once the platform's on there, we can go ahead and put our engines back on here. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's put this platform on here and finish sealing around the bracket.
Okay, so the engines are on, brackets on, platforms on. All we need to do is put the lowers on, put these covers on, and we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, we got the bracket and everything on there. We're all rigged up on our engines, lower units on there. Probably should put it in the water. I don't know if we will or not, but looks pretty good if you ask me.